Hello everyone and welcome to my weekly wrap up. So um, I haven't had the best week mentally, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I've just been quite tired, I've been quite stressed, I've been quite drained. I just feel that I have got quite a lot on my plate right now. But I have read two really great psychological thrillers this week that I can't wait to talk about with you. So I'm just going to get right on into it. I gave one of them four stars and one of them five stars. So the book that I gave four stars to this week is Cross Her Heart by Sarah Pimbra. And I recently met Sarah Pimbra because she is a HarperCollins author and she came to see us at work this week with a few other awesome psychological thriller authors. It was a really, really great event. It just had so much fun and that is where I picked up this very gorgeous hardcover copy of her new release Across Her Heart. Stephen King has said that this book is absolutely bloody brilliant. You guys will know that I will read literally anything that Stephen King recommends and I actually did say to Sarah at the events that I'm going to pick this up because I read anything that Stephen King recommends and then when she signed it for me she signed it thanks Steve, Sarah Pimbra, which I just thought was so hilarious and she is just the sweetest, funniest person ever. I really, really love her and I read her book this week and I absolutely loved it. So Cross Her Heart follows um, three women. We get to viewpoints of each of them. So one of the women is Lisa and Lisa is a single mum to a teenage daughter called Ava and Lisa seems to be quite secretive about her past and she seems quite paranoid that this secret is going to come to light. She seems to to feel that somebody is watching her from her past, um, desperate to destroy this lovely cosy life that she has created for herself and her daughter. And then the second viewpoint is from Lisa's daughter Ava. Ava is 16 and she has a very solid group of girlfriends who she trusts, particularly one of her older friends Jody. she seems to put a lot of trust in. She also has a boyfriend who is perfectly lovely for her but she's getting a little bit bored of her boyfriend because she's getting a lot of attention from a older man who she is talking to online. And then we have a third perspective from a woman called Marilyn who is Lisa's best friend. They've worked together for 10 years at this recruitment company and they socialise together and they are just the best of friends. Ava kind of sees her as a auntie because she and her mum are so close um, and Marilyn is married to a man called Richard and Lisa really admires their marriage. She kind of wants that kind of relationship for herself but little does she know that behind closed doors Marilyn's life is actually very different to the one that she portrays and basically it's just a psychological thriller about how all three of these lives are come together and how they interweave and there were just so many twists and turns honestly I thought I had it all figured out pretty near the beginning and then something would happen and Sarah Pimber would just kind of throw a spanner in the works and I would start doubting myself and I pretty much suspected every single character at some point in this story and the surprises just kept coming it was just so so good it was a huge huge roller coaster of emotions it really really was the reason I didn't give it five stars was because um, I kind of got towards the end of the book and I realised I only had like a few pages to go and I was right like in the middle of the kind of final climax if you like and I thought oh my god this is going to end with a load of questions unanswered and I'm just going to have to figure a load of stuff out for myself and I was quite excited by that prospect and then there was an epilogue where everything was tied up really nicely and I was just like I was really anticipating this to be a wide open ending with so many things unanswered and actually we got a quite nice neat ending and it, I just wasn't ready for it and um, that's why I dropped it from an original five stars down to a four stars unfortunately but I still really enjoyed it and I would definitely love to read some more of Sarah Pimbra's work because I know that she writes in lots of different genres I know she's written horror I know she's written sci-fi and I know she's written at least one other psychological thriller um so yeah I really really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend you guys picking it up and the other book that I read this week is another psychological thriller called Our Kind of Cruelty by Araminta Hall. And this is such a unique psychological thriller. So this is told from the perspective of a 
guy who is still really, really obsessed with his ex and his ex has um, moved on to someone else. She is getting married to another man and he doesn't let this stop him basically trying to pursue her further. Um, they used to play this kind of sexy game where they would go out and pretend that they were strangers and she would flirt with somebody else and then he would dive in at the last minute to save her and they call this game The Crave and he has kind of taken her moving on to somebody else almost as like a really elaborate, intricate version of The Crave and he's trying to put it out there that they are still together and that she knows there's some kind of secret knowledge then he she's kind of waiting for him to jump in and save her at the last minute and it gets seriously dark and twisted like seriously and it's all from his point of view as well and he's so mentally unstable and dangerous and I just really did not know what he was going to do I didn't know what he was capable of and I was so scared my heart was in my mouth for pretty much the entirety of the time I was reading this book and it's been a while since a psychological thriller has really really done that and I was so addicted to it I, literally I was sitting at work and I was like I just want to get back to our kind of cruelty now it's just so so good it really was and then the ending there was no kind of there was no kind of character development and I know like people always say that you know all of the best books the character goes on some kind of journey they are some kind of different person to what they were at the start at the end and that didn't happen in this book but it really really didn't matter because he was just such an interesting unique dark guy and it was just, I, I can't really say any more about it because I know I will just spoil absolutely everything, but please read it if you are looking for a psychological thriller that is so, so different. I did write a full review of it on my blog, so I will leave a link to that review in the description down below. I tried my absolute hardest to avoid all spoilers, but oh my gosh, it is so, so good. So definitely, definitely pick this up. Five stars to our kind of cruelty. And that is it for my weekly wrap up. What have you read recently? Please let me know. Um, I have a bank holiday this weekend, as I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this will do too. And there are a lot of really, really awesome sounding YA titles that have come out this week and I'm so happy that I have this extra day to try and get through some of them. Um, I'm super super excited by them so I've got Rainbow Rowell's um, take on Runaways, the Marvel comic series, I've got the first volume of that so cannot wait to dive into that. Of course I've got Sarah J Mars's A Court of Frost and Starlight which is the novella in her court series. I've got a awesome awesome sounding YA horror paranormal kind of story um, called Slay by Kim Curran which follows a boy band who are also demon hunters which is just me all over it. Um, I've also got Becky Albertalli's new book Leah on the Offbeat and you guys will know how much I love Leah since I've seen Love, Simon. So I am really really set for an awesome YA reading bank holiday. So um, what are you guys reading right now? Please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below and I hope you're having an awesome day. I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.